dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Today is August 29th, and we're taking a look at Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox animated film. That's right, and this is, just came out this year, and it's based off of the event that happened in 2011, which ultimately led to the new 52. Um, and people get this confused because there is another Flashpoint Flash comic, which uh, I believe came out in 1990. Yeah, yeah, Flashpoint, which came out in 1999, and it has a similar story where the events in The Flash's life kind of change the future and things happen, but this one's based solely on the 2011 event, which spanned something like 13 comics, um, you know, comic titles. A major event, yeah. Yeah, comic titles, yeah, a major event. Um, and so basically what happens is you have the key players are basically the Flash and uh, the reverse Flash, Professor Zoom, uh, also known as whatever his name is, Eubald Thorn or Thorn or whatever his name was, is. Um, and basically... Um, <clears throat> it's thong. It always thong. sounds like thong. Thong. Me, yeah. T h a w n e. Titter. Th- thing you went thong. 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 So so the Flash goes back in time to save his mom from you know whatever happened to his mom, uh, and in doing so he creates like ripples in time. You know so like he he moves so fast uh, when when something moves so so fast that it breaks the sound barrier, a sonic boom happens. This is so when he moves so fast that he breaks the time barrier, uh, a time boom happens and. Time shifts certain ways, and certain things happen differently, and um, so that's what happens. He he awakens in this alternate re- uh, alternate timeline where things didn't happen the way they should. Uh, the Atlanteans are at war with the Themyscarians. So essentially, uh, um, uh, 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 Amazon uh, versus the yeah Aquaman versus Di- uh, Princess Diana, Wonder Woman. Uh, so that's pretty much what it is. The the war is the world is being torn by their war. Uh, a lot of the heroes are dead or dying or missing or never different. existed uh, or d- completely different. Uh, you have, uh, I guess I shouldn't give away too much because that's that's the one of the cool characters. Um, so that's pretty much the premise. You know, he has to figure out, he has his old memories from the previous life and now he's slowly regaining memories from this life. So the two memories are kind of merging into one colossal memory. I don't know how to say that. Uh, so that's, for, that's the premise. He's got to fix it. Go ahead. All right, so uh, <laughs> most of you might know that I don't really like the DC Universe for the most part. I like Batman, and I like certain things that are a little bit more realistic. But when it comes to Superman and Green Lantern and Flash, I don't. It, it, I got to hand it to DC. They are utterly ridiculous, and nothing makes sense. And yet they still manage to be utterly predictable in their stuff. It's ridiculous. It's, it's so... Because it's like... I don't even need to worry about spoilers because you all know how it ends. Uh, Flash learns not to screw with the, the past and fixes it by screwing with the past. That's pretty much the lesson, yes. So I'm not going to give it anything more than that. But it's just it's just one of those things like, really, really? And then, you know, like I have Nick explaining like, oh, well, this is because of the uh, the Flash Force or what is it, Speed it's, Force? Yeah, he has the, the Speed Force. Speed Force, yes. And And it just makes me more and more irritated. <laughs> like, like, seriously, like, really? Really? It's like, no, but there could be some cool, and I just can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So, though I think that this animation is, you know, well done as far as, like, the animation is concerned. Voice um, acting. And voice acting is good, but it does definitely not have much humor. It takes that out, which you, that you're always like, oh, yeah, no, I love The Flash, and I'm like, what, The Flash is really stupid. It's like, yeah, but he's really funny. And this has none of that. So, I, you know, I kind of started liking some of the humor in some of the animated shows that we watched. Although it's never really that funny because it's like good old boy humor. It's like clean cut humor. It's like, boy, that guy's fat or something. You know, it's like it just doesn't make any. It's just kind of stupid. It, I, it's like, maybe you shouldn't eat so many Twinkies or something. I don't know. Actually, that's more mean spirited than he ever is. And it's yeah. just like, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't, it doesn't amount to anything. So I can't really say that I enjoyed where it went or what kind of story it has or anything but it was a fun ride i guess it was entertaining 
No, oh, good. So I, I, I'm going to defer to you to you know praise it and give it some right. I, I some I, weight. It's, I, I really thought that you didn't like this. Like I, I, I wouldn't don't like really. This. Yeah, but but just to say that you enjoyed it. Well, I mean, it's for it's an animated thing. You know, it's like ooh pictures. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's that good. Yeah. Ooh, picture. And it's funny to That's make fun of. That's a ringing endorsement. It, it's Ooh, nice to picture. make fun of. Yeah, he was making fun of it when we watched it. I mean, Aquaman's a fucking football player now. Oh, That's dude, ridiculous. yeah, he, he's he's like he's like chess is like out here. He's bigger than Superman was. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And don't get me you know, started on the Mook version of Batman. Like, really, whatever. Yeah, I can't give anything away. Anyway, if you guys haven't read the comics, I'm not going to give that away. Um, so so <clears throat> me, I I like the Flash. Uh, and, and I think if you guys watched one of the bloopers somewhere along the lines, you might have heard me say this. Um, but I like I like the Flash. I do. I think he's a great character. I just think that most of his storylines and almost all of his enemies are lame. Yeah, just just not that great. Most of his storylines. I mean, I I've thought up better Flash. His you know, most famous one is Captain Cold. Like really? How is Victor Freeze not superior in every fucking way? Well, I think I think his m- main bad guy is Mirror Master, but yes, Captain Cold is one of them. Plus, you have Captain Boomerang and Tops, whatever that guy's <laughs> top, the top. I'm the top. I spin tops at people. Hey, whatever. Um, and then of course there's uh there's the Reverse Flash. There's Professor Zoom, uh, which are the same person, by the way. I cannot hear that name without snickering. Professor Zoom. Mm. Um, so so for me this this one was this one was kind of hard to understand because. And if you guys have seen this movie, and so I guess there's a little bit of a spoiler here, but not really. But not really. Um, the the main premise is, uh, uh, the Flash goes back in time to save his mom. Right. That's that's the beginning. And but he, you don't actually see him go back in time to save to save his mom. You just see him waking up and dealing with the fact that he saved his mom. But he doesn't even remember. Kind of, well, it's not it's not known that he he remembers saving his mom. And it's kind of hinted that it was all orchestrated by. Professor Zoom by the Reverse Flash. I never got that. But yeah, but that's never that's never really solidified. I mean, well, he does he does say that he had a hand in this because when uh, uh, Flash goes for his his ring that has his costume in it, which I guess would be on this hand, um, when he goes for his ring that has his costume on it, he doesn't have it, but another one pops out of his his uh, vest pocket or his you know his jacket pocket, and he opens it up, and bam, there's the Reverse Zoom. I mean, the Reverse Flash costume. Uh, and he's like, "Oh, did he do this? Is that what happened?" You know, but it, it's never really explained. Because first of all, if if and this is where the paradox comes in, and it makes no sense. But you can argue that because they both come from the speed force, that they both you know can live outside of time, I guess. But once he goes back, once Flash goes back to save his mom, and everything happens, and the ripple happens, and there is no Flash, then because the Reverse Flash is the Reverse Flash. Because there's no Flash, there wouldn't be any Reverse Flash, so he would not be in the future. In which case, he, the regular Flash, the real Flash, he would he would have been able to save the world just by going back in time and not having to deal with whatever. Uh, so, so there is a huge paradox. There is a huge problem with this whole time continuum thing that they kind of overlooked. Plus the motivation behind it, um, which is funny because one of the things that they bring up in this movie and I think in the comic book as well. Uh, although I don't remember because I'm kind of confusing the two. Again, there are two flashpoints. There's there's uh, the 1999 version, um, which is completely different, and then there's the 2011, the one that spanned the, the one that spanned several comics. In the past one, in the 1999 one, um, that one he goes back in time, and by ch- uh, it, it, when he changes the uh, timeline, he actually saves John F. Kennedy. So he saves John F. Kennedy, but then he gets shot in the back of the head, and he's now paralyzed. Um, and so that's kind of where the, 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 that comic starts. So that one is nice because he does something heroic. He uses his time travel abilities to, well, it's not really time travel. It's actually set in that time, and then he just moves at super speed. But he, he actually saves a life. In this one, he just uses his speed teleport time ability to save his mom. So it's like when they brought it up, why not save John F. Kennedy? Why not stop Hitler? You know, Why not do some really good uh, with, your, with your abilities? But instead, you're being selfish and saving your mom, and therefore negating everything that the Flash has ever been. So, I don't know. It's just uh, there's a huge paradox, and I don't think it gets explained well enough. And I don't think that uh, they explain what the motivation behind it all is. So this one, to me, is certainly not a great DC animated movie, but it's not the worst. Plus, the fact that again, this spanned 13 or so comics, and then they kind of jammed it into an hour and a half. So. It, it was too much to take in all at once, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, and I guess that's my take on it. I know I rambled there. 
I, I think the, the the part that I might appreciate is that they do have fun with the heroes and the villains and change things. And I, you know, I'm not super attached to these guys. Right. So for me, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that'd be interesting and kind of fun. But they don't ever really spend a lot of time in that world. I mean, doing that, I, they're just kind of uh, concerned about this thing that's, the, the, yeah, the the. The science surrounding it and the kind of the causality and whatever is re- utterly ridiculous to me. And that's kind of what they focus on. And then all the other stuff, it's kind of like you know, little nods that um, it's kind of like pique my interest, but then they never go beyond that. So, right. Like Grifter showing up or whatever. I don't know. It's just like characters I don't usually see in animated films or different versions of characters. You know, like that Deathstroke, what's his deal? Who's that guy that, you know, I forget what his name was, but it, we thought that maybe he was Deathstroke. We thought maybe he was Oliver, but then he turns out to be somebody else. Is he anybody? You know, just I don't know who that is. He is. Uh, what's that the was... whole deal with the whole Shazam thing? Oh, uh, you know, yeah. Just on and on and on. So it, it's kind of like, why don't I... I don't I don't know. I don't know. Because every time I try to make it cool, it comes into like the speed force or something that I just think it's the stupidest thing ever. Well, to me, the speed force is... I like the idea of the speed force. I like that idea because I also like uh, one of the one of my favorite comic books right now, the New 52, is, is Animal Man. And, you know, you have the red, you have the green with Swamp Thing, and then you have the uh, the rot or the gray. Um, the gray being from Earth, too. Um, so, so that, to me, I like. I, I like those little pieces of the universe that kind of define the 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 heroes you know Yeah, but when it's used in such an arbitrary way to be like the flash can't go back right now because there's another speed freak that's using the speed force too much and he can't you know do the thing that he just did even though that other guy still existed and you're explaining it to me well you you know you can like summon and tap it for yourself or whatever it's right whatever dude i just i don't care and this doesn't make me care but it is fun to watch and it so, is visually pretty cool. And it's fun to make fun of for me. So, sorry. You know, I know that a lot of people are going to be like, you're a jerk. You know, I love DC and whatever. And that's no, great. No. I really think it's great that you love it. I do. Objectionally, but. this is not one of the better DC animated movies. Um, again, I, I always go to uh, uh, Under the Red Hood. That's probably yeah, my favorite. That is an awesome one. But that's too easy because of Batman and the Batman animated series. That's so. true. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab has been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if we're online, well, you can... Wait. So find us and if friend he's us. he's online. And if I'm online, we can chat for hours. That's right. We're also uh, blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, uh, little bits of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, if you like it, uh, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I post short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, interested check that out. There it goes. See you later. Yes! Good job. Flash Force, activate. <laughs> Next time I'm doing a review, it's Misery. Glass cleaner. What? Why do we have glass cleaner in here? Where the hell's a glass cleaner? I don't think I've used that type of glass cleaner for years and years and years. Where's the glass cleaner? It's just sitting right there. The blue can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. You have glass cleaner. I don't know. Because you put it there and you're like, Nick's going to clean my windows. He's going to see the glass. Yeah, it's probably just wishful thinking. Dude, I, I, you guys don't know this about I don't dust shit. our, um, our dynamic. friendship. What? Our dynamic. Our dynamic. Um, that's actually a good way of saying it. You, you, you guys don't know our dynamic, but basically, RJ's thought, and I'm going to talk specifically about his truck. His thought process is, as long as it stays dirty, no one's going to steal it. I go out and I see his truck, and I just want to clean it. You know, like, just give, you know, whatever. I clean the windows, clean the freaking car, but, you know, it's got, like, what is it, lichen on it? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a protective layer of, of uh, moss and algae layer. yeah exactly it's like his car is essentially like new life forms are being bred on his car it, ha- has it has it been broken into what? every other vehicle i've had has been broken into but every other vehicle i wash regularly i, I, I it rains so much in seattle you know so sue me not a big deal i just want to clean it <laughs> I can't clean it, it's not mine. On today's dual review, it's Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. I fucking hate DC. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no.
I don't hate DC, just everything but Batman. That's the thing. It's like, I, I'm starting to warm up to some of it, but it's all surround like Suicide Squad. It's because they're mostly realistic heroes, all Villains. surrounding well, bureaus, anti heroes, all surrounding kind of the Batman. Th I mean, I don't know the one I'm interested in or whatever. <laughs> I try really hard, and when people are like, I like the Flash, it makes me angry. It physically makes me angry, and I try. I try not to be, but it's like you're not a friend of mine. I like. That I like. Makes no fucking sense. I like the character of the Flash. I just don't like many of his storylines. Or villains. Or villains. I hate most of his villains. In fact, I think I hate all of his villains. I don't think there's a villain there that I like. Although, uh, um, with the rever the Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom, he's like one of the top 31 uh, villains. Oh. But that's only because he's a huge prick. Hey everybody, today is the 29. <laughs> 29. <laughs> We're looking at something stupid. <laughs> uh.